In this lesson, we are going to learn about how can you add a custom domain in Microsoft 365. So before we go and see how you can add this custom domain in Microsoft 365 portal, I just want you to know some of the basic concepts behind this because these are some of the very important steps you need to understand bef before planning your custom domains. These are all the several factors and organizations must consider when planning to add custom domains. These factors can differ when the Microsoft 365 subscription it selects. Let's address the first one, multiple domains. An organization should plan to add the main domain that it currently uses along with any other domain that it uses for email messages within the organization. This scenario is common when the overall company is a business group or organization has been through a merger process and some employees still have alternate email addresses. So you need to consider this before setting up your custom domains. The second key thing we need to address is subdomains. An organization may want to register subdomains. Microsoft 365 Business Premium and Enterprise Plans enable subdomains to be added under the root domain. So please identify that whether your organization need to be added or planning to include subdomains in the future. Another consideration is domain numbers. An organization can register up to 900 domains with Microsoft 365. So that's a plenty of domains available within a single tenant. Another question many people would ask is, what is the domain adding order? So the root domain must be added before subdomains. Next is DNS record hosting. The DNS records may be hosted by an organization's DNS server or by an external hosting provider. The next is access to DNS console. So as an organization, you should check with the DNS hosting provider about the level of access that it has on the DNS console. To configure its Microsoft 365 services, an organization must have access to A record, CNAME record, text, MX and SRB records. So don't worry, I will show you how you can find these values when we go through these hands-on exercise to create our subdomain and main domain. The next consideration could be not registering DNS. It's rare that an organization wouldn't want to register a DNS domain with Microsoft 365, but it's a possible option. Then what about changing all records and DNS record propagation timings? An organization may not want to change all the DNS record to point to Microsoft 365. We will talk about this in the upcoming sessions. The next thing we need to understand is when you plan the DNS zone for custom domains, what are the key things you need to keep in your mind? A publicly available DNS zone setup is critical during the Microsoft 365 deployment. Organization use internal DNS zones configured on internal DNS server so that internal clients can resolve computer names and services. These organizations can also use external public DNS zones configured on internet accessible DNS servers so that clients located on the internet can resolve computer names and services. These are the couple of options available to host the DNS zone for a custom domain. Have a third party provider such as a GoDaddy to host the DNS zone for custom domains. This scenario enables an organization to manage DNS through a web portal. The second option is host the DNS zone on-prem by using or deploying DNS servers. This scenario enables an organization to have DNS servers in the perimeter network so that internet users can resolve the organization's internet-facing domain resources. Now let's look at how can you plan the DNS records for a custom domain. So before that, let me quickly take you to the portal and show you where you can add your custom domain. So go back to your Microsoft 365 Admin Center and click on Show All and click on Settings and click on Domains. By default, when you get a Microsoft 365 tenant, you will get a default tenant name, which will be always ending with onmicrosoft.com. You can click on Add a Domain to add a custom domain. For example, if you want to add a custom domain called customdomain.com, simply use that name and click on use this domain. 
And this is where you have to provide the details about how do you want to verify your domain. So you need to provide the text record and MX records for this domain. So if you don't have it, that's where it gets tricky because you will not be able to verify it. So Microsoft provides these values. You have to go to your domain provider's website and you have to put these there and click on verify to verify it. So if I click on verify now, because I haven't added any of these values in my domain registers DNS zone, I won't be able to verify this. So let's go back, go back. So I'm going to go to your website where I get my domain. So this is the website which I use for testing and they usually give out domain names for free for one year for us to use. So the website is called freenorm.com. So sign in with your account. If you don't have one, create one. And this website allows us to create domain names for testing or for main use, you can buy it as well. So click on my domains. I have a couple of domains already activated. So I'm gonna, so I'm not gonna use this. So let's go back to the homepage and click on register a new domain. Search for a name. So I'm gonna type in MS100. Looks like it is available for these domain names. So I'm gonna select ms100.tk, click on get and click on checkout. So on the right hand side under period, you can change how many months you want this for free. I'm going to select 12 months, click on continue and I'm going to complete the order. So to view our domain, so I can click here to go to the client area, go to services, my domains. Now I know that I have a domain. I own this domain called ms100.tk. So now let's go back to our configuration page. This time, instead of custom domain name, I'm going to put ms100.tk. Click on use this domain. And this is where it is allowing us to add a text record to the domain DNS record. So click on continue. And these are all the text records. So now I know these values. This is very important. So if you go back to the domain register, click on manage your domain, click on management tools, click on name servers, the name servers option, if you want to add a new name server, you can use a custom name server. So let's go back to the root of the domain. So within this, within your domain page, all you have to do is click on manage the DNS. That gives you an ability to add more records. So in our case, all we have to do is go and add these values like text record, MX records and C names, and then we can hit on verify the newly created domain will get verified. So I'm not going to verify it because I already have a verified domain in my subscription or tenant. So I'm gonna let you guys explore and experience the whole process of creating a custom domain yourself. So when you create your custom domain in Microsoft 365, each domain with any attendant subdomain can only be validated to a single Microsoft 365 tenant. So you cannot have a domain conteso.com register to any other tenant because you can only register to one domain. That is one of the important thing you need to understand. That concluded this lesson. In the next lesson, we are going to learn about configuring the client connectivity to Microsoft 365. I will see you on the next one. Until then, take care.